This is my review of Loot Crate's September 2017 regular box. This is just the regular subscription box. This is not the, uh, the upgraded version or any other type of box that Loot Crate does. This is their original box that you get for regular price every month. And this one's September. And the theme is, as you see, robotic. So most of the stuff on here is something to do with robots. And instead of opening the box on camera, I went ahead and just opened the box, see if it was worth a review. And I deemed it it is. It's pretty cool. I really like this box. They did very good this month. Uh, Loot Crate's been a hit or miss. You get a 50-50 chance. Uh, earlier this year, they were really doing really bad. But uh, I gotta say, this one was a uh, this was a good one. I like it. So let's review first. We do get a shirt with Loot Crate, like most, and this one is the Wallace Corporation. If you're not sure what the Wallace Corporation is, it is the Blade Runner um, Corporation stuff. So I like it. I like it a lot. It did come a little really wrinkled, as you can see. Um, and this box was kind of small and it wasn't very full, but it did come with a lot of cool stuff in it. And the shirt is probably one of the best shirts I've seen from Loot Crate in a while. I really like the type of shirt that looks like it comes from someplace, uh, from a movie like a company like this. Um, really like those type of shirts. I it just, I don't know. I like those better than like really funny ones or just pictures of like Transformers or something. I like these type of shirts. Really, really like it. So, uh, that's a win as far as I'm concerned with the, that. Now, Loot Crate box, of course, regular, but we're going to get back, we'll get that back to the box here in a second. Um, we also get a Star Trek Next Generation comic book, Mirror Broken, uh, The Origin of Data. So, this should be a pretty good read for Star Trek fans on how data, data, however you want to say his name, um, how he began, I guess. Um, don't really read Star Trek comic books, but this one sounds pretty interesting. So let me uh, dive into this one and see what happens here. And then we have a build your own R2-D2 out of wood. This is something that I probably wouldn't buy regularly myself, but since I got it in this box, I'm probably gonna attempt to put him together sometime. Not today, but, you know, sometime. And then we got the alien and Bishop. You had to put him together. He came, uh, she came in pieces. It was about one, two, three, four, five, about six or seven pieces that she had put together. It was kind of, took me a few minutes to figure out what had to go where. But it, uh, it's kind of cute. I like it. Pretty interesting. I even like the box. You know, queen takes bishop it's like a chess reference so I, I, that is really funny i like that as soon as i saw that in the box I thought, oh i like this so that was pretty interesting um also you get a monthly pin and everybody and this one is loot bot this is a design that loot crate designed themselves and kind of cute and of course with loot crate you do get a uh I guess like a digital download with the pin so you uh, go on to a specific site with a specific code and you get things like um, games or add-on to other games or digital comic books everything I think this month I haven't really checked for sure but from what I could read in the book um, it sounded like it was another digital comic so I may check that out again really not a big comic book person but you never know and this month inside the box they have designed something pretty cool 
they made it if you turn it inside out it turns into a cereal box for robots so let me put this together real quick and i'll show it how it looks and here we go the here is the cog crispies it just uh it only took me about a minute to flip the box around inside out and it is all sides looking like it is a real cereal box you can pause that and read it if you want even on the back it has like little games like some of the cereal boxes have nowadays instead of toys um, and nutritional facts pretty pretty funny if you want to read it so it does look like it's not for human consumption but uh, for robots so you can see not for human or animal consumption pretty funny stuff there and you have an exclusive mystery item inside which <laughs> we've already went through all that so really like this box design um again that's another thing that luke creates a hit or miss on sometimes sometimes they go all out on their inside of their boxes that you can turn it into things and sometimes it's just a basic little box with a design but this one is got to be one of my favorite ones that they've come out with in a while uh, when I do get these type of boxes, I do try to keep them and I put stuff in them. That way they're not just wasted space. And like for the regular boxes, I'll keep them around for a while until I decide I don't need them anymore or I'm running out of room and then I just recycle them. But this one is definitely going to be sticking around. So that is my review on September 2017's Loot Crate box. If you like it, um, go to Loot Crate dot com I believe and subscribe uh, you may still be able to back order this month's box not sure I don't know what the status is on this box but uh, hopefully Loot Crate sticks around I've been subscribed to them for quite a few years now and hopefully they don't end up like nerd block which sounds like they went bankrupt so possibly not getting any more nerd blocks anymore which is kind of sad because they were really knocking it out of the park too but hopefully you liked this review. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.